India, a country known for its rich culture spanning thousands of years. India, where values and respect for everyone are deeply ingrained in society. India, where the phrase Atithi Devo Bhava is deeply rooted in its timeless legacy. Atithi Devo Bhava means the guest is equivalent to God. This adage epitomizes Indian hospitality and hence it is of no surprise that India hosts guests from different parts of the world due to its diverse habitat and landscapes. India also serves as a gracious host to migratory species, especially Gujarat, an epicenter of diverse habitat for numerous animals including migratory bird species, welcomes these guests with open arms. These guests who travel every year far away from Siberia, Northern Europe, Northern, Eastern and Central Asian countries who are guided by an ancient instinct. They arrive at an important destination within the Central Asian flyway zone, which is Gujarat, a heaven for migratory water birds. This epic journey of timeless migration is a marvel of nature and holds immense significance for our ecology. Hence, governance in Gujarat is meticulously working to conserve habitats so that it always remains a model host for migratory birds. In the words of our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Bhai Modi, Friends, Nature protects those who protect nature. To fulfill this, the Honorable Chief Minister of Gujarat, Sri Bhupendra Bhai Patel, Honorable Minister of Forest and Environment, Sri Muru Bhai Bera, Honorable Minister of State for Forest and Environment, Mukesh Bhai Patel, and the Forest Department and Gujarat Ecological Education and Research Foundation, Geer Foundation, is diligently working towards conserving the biodiversity and their habitats of Gujarat, including the migratory birds. To an earthbound species like humans, migration may seem like an extreme adaptation. However, for many bird species, it is a straightforward response to the environmental changes like temperature and food availability. These seasonal movements optimize their survival and reproduction between breeding and non-breeding grounds. Gujarat is considered a heaven for migratory birds for several reasons such as 1. Strategic location of Gujarat on the Central Asian Flyway 2. Climatic suitability during winters in Gujarat 3. Diverse habitat of wetlands in Gujarat 4. Diversity in food 5. Consistency of habitat 6. Protection 1. Strategic location of Gujarat on the Central Asian Flyway Gujarat's geographical position elevates its significance. Positioned along the Central Asian Flyway, the state emerges as a pivotal winter foraging ground for migratory water birds. The Central Asian Flyway, world's shortest migratory route, connecting chili breeding grounds in the Arctic, the Palearctic and Eurasia to the warmth of the Indian subcontinent. This migratory path, which is used by millions of birds spanning across 30 countries, acts as a critical corridor connecting diverse habitats. Along with other parts of South Asia, Gujarat, is situated in the southmost region of the Central Asian Flyway and plays a pivotal role in the migratory phenomena. Here, the rich tapestry and smooth blend of inland wetlands, expansive ocean and diverse landscapes make it an ideal destination for our avian friends. 2. Climatic suitability during winters in Gujarat. Gujarat is blessed with an apt climate for migratory water birds seeking refuge from colder regions. The temperature 
during the winters in Gujarat typically ranges from a minimum of 10 degrees and maximum of 25 degrees Celsius, which creates a familiar climate for the migratory birds of their respective summer habitat. This mirror climate condition of winters in Gujarat creates a homely atmosphere by providing them with a suitable and comfortable climatic condition during their seasonal stay. 3. Diverse Habitat of Wetlands in Gujarat With the apt climatic condition for the migratory birds, Gujarat is also blessed with diverse habitat. From great numbers of wetlands and water bodies, with each of them telling a unique story, a story of resilience, coexistence, and the harmonious dance of nature and life. According to the National Wetland Decadal Change Atlas by the Space Applications Center, ISRO 2021, Gujarat has got 34,994 square kilometer area under the wetlands, which is the highest among other states of India. With that, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change Government of India has identified eight wetlands in Gujarat of national importance. These include the Great Run of Kutch, Khijadiya Bird Sanctuary, Little Run of Kutch, Narsarovar Bird Sanctuary, Nani Kakrad, Pariyaj, Thor Bird Sanctuary, and Vadwana Wetland. Moreover, thousands of birds gather in specific water areas including islands of Marine National Park, Charakala, Nara Bay, Gosabana, Gaj, coastal regions and Bhavnagar salt pans. Notably, four of these sites have proudly earned global recognition as Ramsar sites of Gujarat under the Ramsar Convention. The first Ramsar site of Gujarat is Narsarovar Bird Sanctuary, which hosts over 300 bird species both resident and migratory, making it a heaven for great white pelicans, Dalmatian pelican, Demoisil crane, common crane, species of waterfowl like Northern Shavla, Eurasian Vigian, Gargane, Garhwal, common pochard and many more. It attracts flocks surpassing 2 lakh birds, including grey leg geese and bar-headed geese who travel from countries of Central Asia like Mongolia to the Tibetan Plateau and stay from October to February. Birds like the Northern Pinte, Northern Shavlar, Tufted Pochard breed in Europe countries and reach to India in mid-October and stay up to February. Most migratory species arrive at the beginning of winter, especially in October, and begin their return journey at the onset of summer starting in mid-February. This sanctuary safeguards not only birds but also aquatic plants and animals. Second such Ramsar site is Thor Bird Sanctuary. It is a serene sanctuary for migratory birds. Initially, it was a man-made reservoir for the community. Additionally, it boasts over 250 bird species. After monsoon, the marshes and the croplands attract graceful visitors like demoisil crane, common crane, grey leg geese and bar-headed geese offering a tranquil spectacle. Third such Ramsar site is Vadwana wetland. The serene oasis highlights the delicate balance of water and life. It is a heaven for terns, ibis, ducks, storks and spoonbills. Khijadiya Bird Sanctuary is also a wetland-based sanctuary and Ramsar site. This wetland showcases diverse habitats like freshwater wetlands, mangroves and salt pans. Khijaria is a home to many iconic species like black-necked stork and Dalmatian pelican. Strategic location on bird migration routes and connection with the dynamic Gulf of Kutch make it a significant destination for more than 2 lakh to 3 lakh migratory birds like Curlew Sandpiper, Dunlin, Little Stint, Crab Plovers, Sand Plovers and many more. They specifically come from Arctic and Northern European region and are found in Gujarat 
from September to March. These testaments on the thriving and harmonious diversity of habitat and ecosystem adds up to Gujarat being a haven for our avian friends. 4. Diversity in Food Long distance travelers must carefully manage their food intake to avoid gaining excess weight during their journey. However, upon arrival at their destinations, they are in dire need of replenishing their reserves. Gujarat offers a veritable buffet for these feathered guests. Gujarat features an array of water bodies encompassing nutrient-rich mudflats, flourishing fisheries, serene lakes, winding rivers, and the dynamic interplay of estuaries, salt pans, reservoirs, and freshwater marshes. For example, the coastal mudflats exposed during low tide harbor an array of plankton, algae, invertebrates including mollusks, crustaceans, worms, various larval forms and small fish, which is a sumptuous delight for species like sandpipers, shovelers, plovers, goodwits, ruffs and various other waders. Cranes and geese feast on the plants and crops like nuts, legumes, grain and tubers of water lily and nutlets of stachania from the water as well as fields adjacent to the water bodies. Pelicans targeting larger fishes like rohu, katla, hilsa, tilapia. Eurasian region, Eurasian coots, purple swamp hen, sustain themselves by consuming leaves, stems, roots, rhizomes and seeds of grasses, sedges and aquatic vegetation like emergent floating and submerged plants like hydrilla, kara, potamogeton, scirpus, Cypress bulbosus, typha, and many more. Flamingos and shoveler feed on microorganisms, plankton, diatoms, algae, larvae of disease vectors like mosquitoes and other insects fed by swift, swallows, and warblers. Waders with specialized beaks explore the mudflats, shifting and searching for invertebrates hidden within the soft mud. This unique foraging technique allows them to access hidden bounty of protein-rich foods like mollusks, crustaceans, worms, various larval forms. From majestic cranes to resourceful waders, the diverse ecosystem of Gujarat offers a perfect haven for these incredible migratory birds, providing them with the fuel they need to complete their extraordinary journey. The availability of ample quantity and diversity of food sources allows for the coexistence of birds from different ecological niches in the aquatic ecosystems. 5. Consistency of Habitat For these resilient travelers, the stability and consistency of their migratory homes are just not preferences but necessities for their survival. Imagine embarking on an epic journey facing hunger, exhaustion and treacherous weather only to arrive at destination and find it has vanished. This is the harsh reality migratory birds could face if their vital winter habitats undergo significant changes or disappear altogether. Consistency and stability also undergoes Gujarat's commitment to preserving the ecological continuity of its habitats. Space-based observations of Indian wetlands by the Space Applications Center, ISRO, comparing data from the year 2017-18 with the year 2006 and 7, reveal an increase in the total wetland area, totaling to 50,016 hectares. By minimal alterations and sustained stability, marked Gujarat's habitats have been a consistent home for migratory birds over generations. Gujarat's wetlands have solidified its position as a reliable and recurrent destination and provides a familiar and secure environment for migratory waterbirds. 6. Protection A major reason of consistency in habitat is maintained due to the security provided by local communities, government policies and regulations which plays a pivotal role 
in upholding the protection and the ecological well-being of these water bodies. Additionally, the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 and the Wetlands Conservation and Management Rules of 2017 provide legal frameworks for safeguarding these wetlands. Recently, the Government of India has also launched the Amrut Dharohar Scheme. This initiative promotes unique conservation values of Ramsar sites and other wetlands of India. In addition, the Save Wetland Campaign, Mission Life, Wetland Mitra are the key activities which showcase the dedication of the government and communities for the conservation of wetlands. Efforts are diligently made by the government to ensure that our guests receive adequate food, shelter, and protection during their stay year after year. And hence, the Gujarat state has constituted the State Wetland Authority to preserve ecologically important wetlands in the state and Gir Foundation is a nodal agency of Gujarat State Wetland Authority. Gir Foundation and the Gujarat Forest Department hand in hand are creating awareness amongst the masses through their education camps community-based works and initiatives like eco-tourism, sustainable livelihood programs. These efforts are yielding the results through their proactive measure for conservation of migratory water birds, ensuring their well-being. Gear Foundation has prepared 458 health cards of wetlands and is documenting 26 major wetlands of Gujarat. Additionally, the Foundation diligently conducts regular ecological monitoring of wetlands and estuaries across Gujarat. They are taking initiatives to sign MOU for multi-stakeholder partnership, undertaking various activities under Mission Life, enrollment of wetland Mitra and many more. It is heartening to see that Government, Forest Department and Gir Foundation are joining hands to provide sustainable habitats and ensuring the protection and well-being of avian visitors for the generation. Our enduring efforts ensure migratory birds to get what they migrate for, food, shelter and protection. And hence, Gujarat is haven for migratory water birds. Garvi Gujarat is upholding and embracing the ethos of Atithi Devo Bhava in true sense.